Yesterday on front page, we decoded how the Indian Army quietly rewrote the rules of modern warfare. Today, we go deeper into the tech, the tactics and the truth behind Operation Sindhur, India's first AI-enabled cross-border strike. When India hit back after the Pahalgam terror attack, it wasn't just boots on the ground. It was 23 Made in India apps powering every decision, every strike and every success. Developed indigenously over the years, these apps gave commanders real-time battlefield intelligence, heat maps and predictive targeting, fusing data from drones, satellites and ground sensors into one single operational picture. Lieutenant General Rajiv Kumar Sahani, who led the Army's digital command systems, confirmed that AI was used for multi-sensor fusion, target prediction and weather-based artillery planning, achieving 94% precision during the operation. This wasn't just war, it was data in motion. The backbone of Operation Sindur was built on India's own digital stack. Trinetra, integrated with Project Sanjay, generated live heat maps for targeting and troop coordination. Sambhav, the Army's secure messaging platform, replaced foreign apps for encrypted communication. ACAS, the electronic intelligence collation system tracked enemy radar, jammers and signals in real time. Predictive threat modeling AI forecast enemy movements before they even happened. And well, a meteorological AI system built with IMD gave 72 hour weather data deep inside enemy territory, letting Indian artillery strike with surgical precision. Together, these tools formed a command and control web unlike anything seen before, where commanders operated with clarity, precision and foresight. Operation Sindur proved one thing. India can now fight digital first wars. AI didn't sit on distant servers. It actually ran on the edge, inside forward command centers, ensuring decisions were instant and independent. This was made possible through Jigyasa, India's upcoming military-grade large language model, trained entirely on classified Indian data and expected to go live in six months. It's actually the Army's generative AI built for defense, not display. Operation Sindur is more than a military success. It's India's declaration of AI sovereignty with a 1,200% rise in AI adoption and a 620% jump in data storage, the Army's digital backbone is now stronger, faster and smarter than ever before. It marks the dawn of a new doctrine, one where wars are no longer just fought with weapons, but with data, algorithms and precision compute. India didn't just respond to terror, it built a template for the AI age of warfare. Because in modern combat, information isn't just power, it's victory.